Hello everyone, it is me, ChillCentar217 here. Today we are going to be building a coaster in this 1x2 area. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into this. Waste no time. Make sure to like, subscribe if you go on to enjoy this video. And I, yeah, let's go do this. What I am thinking for this coaster, it, I'm technically cheating here. But we are going to start with a launch coaster. And I'm going to make more and more videos of these where it slowly becomes like normal or coasters. To see what I can kind of do. But just to get a grasp at how small of an area I really have to work with. We're going to make this little vertical launch. So we're just going to start it with a bit of this overarching kind of track set. It'll come all the way around. Hold on, I'm going to turn the fan on in my cave because it's hot. Okay, anyways, we're going to have it come around this corner. Now, as I built this, I am going to say, you guys are probably thinking, I thought you said in your last Theme Park Tycoon 2 video that you were going to be moving all your stuff to a different channel. And that was originally true, but because of school just starting back literally yesterday as of the time recording, two days ago as of upload date, it would have been really hard to manage my channel, the second channel, and school all at the same time. So yeah, that's I kind of scrapped the second channel idea, and I'm just going to be uploading videos as normal. No particular theme. Anyway, so I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to have it come around that helix I just built. I'm debating whether to make it invert or not. Because this could be more of like a family launch coaster. If you can't tell, these paths are the last cell of the square. So if I go outside of that path barrier, I've kind of exceeded what I can work with. Okay, but uh, if you if you notice a weird little cut there with audio not matching up, it is because I lost connection and I paused the recording. But I don't remember where my train of thought was before this clip, so we're just going to keep on building. But my thought is to try to do this series with mostly unedited track settings. So not changing the boost or the gravity or anything. So we'll see if that... To see what you can really make within the default game. So that's a pretty good starting segment. Okay, definitely feels a bit fast. So I probably will slow it down a bit. But that's besides the point. I think here I want to have it go down and then maybe up and screw it. We will throw an inversion into, well, actually, we'll just make a non-inverting loop. I'm going to try to make this non-inverted because inversions can get really hard to fit into a small area depending on what you're doing. So I know if it comes to like ever doing a RMC uh, coaster, that'll be one where it's a lot harder to make with like inversions and stuff. So I'm just trying to kind of get a grasp of what I'm working with here. Now I hope you don't mind the gap of Among the Sweep videos. I'm not stopping that series. It's gonna keep going next week. I just felt it was, it felt reasonable to take a break from the game as that's the only thing I've uploaded for the past two weeks. I really do wish I could have a better upload schedule than my once a week schedule. But especially with school now, it is just not a realistic expectation. So don't really expect that to happen. Gonna edit this launch to be a bit shorter. 
and I'll cut back once I've tested it. Okay, and we are back. Coaster's looking pretty solid as of right now. Doesn't look horrible for how small it is. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it come down into this little dip. And I think here I actually wanna kinda almost kind of like make it a spike that you would see on a uh similar to the one you can see in the background on that blue coaster that is what i'm doing because i feel it's a cool it's a cool climatic way to have part of a coaster Plus, with the right execution, with like what I'm going to try to do here, we can actually turn it back in the direction it came, therefore saving space and being able to continue the layout for a bit longer. I'm not actually sure what I'm looking on on speed right here. And I know I'm going to have to lower this to the ground a lot in order to make you not get decapitated. But it's the coolness that I'm trying to achieve. Let's cut back to whenever okay. we tested it. Just tested the coaster. This weird top hat isn't actually looking half bad. It actually looked pretty smooth for what it is so I think here I'm gonna have it come up now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to go to the back of the coaster and build a build the brake run so that we have the basic foundation of that complete so we're gonna put that there go into the basic editor put that there and then we can kind of put the other brake section a bit up right there. And now I do what I always do when going into brake runs like this. Where the only real option is to have it actually bank into this segment. So we're going to have it bank into the brakes here. Now I actually think it's not a half bad idea to try to end it now I will say this if you're gonna try to build this you're probably gonna need disable collisions I probably should have turned it off and done it without it but it's a bit too late for that I probably will make another series where I build without it because that'll once again help me get better at using space wisely and getting better at everything now, I'm not exactly sure if this idea will work because it's really, really tight and in a really, really small area. I'll get back when I've tested. Oh, well. Okay, so the actual coaster has now been tested. I am going to quickly add some trees and scenery and change the track color. I did actually shorten the launch a bit to make it a tad bit slower. But once I add the scenery and other things, we will get back so with the finished This is what POV. the for now finished product looks like. I wasn't able to add a lot of scenery or change a lot because you would face through it with the track. You still may face through some of it. Now keep in mind some of these transitions are a bit wonky, but... Honestly, for how fast I built this, I'm pretty happy with it. 
So we are going to jump straight in to the POV of this unnamed vertical launch coaster. Here we go. Well, actually. But anyways, with that, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this POV. But first, this video is going to end right after the POV. So make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a comment down below if you like this content and if you want more. And with that, I will leave you guys with the POV.